In less than two weeks, Tesla owners have travelled over 1 million kilometres on FSD supervised in Australia and New Zealand. That's roughly 67 laps around Australia, or 625 trips from Auckland to Invercargill. I can't even imagine 67 laps around Australia. Tis pretty big over there, so we're here. But as Oscar Thomas points out, that's funny because an entire one of those 67 laps was literally performed by one dude, Harold Murphy, to no fanfare whatsoever, just circumnavigating navigated one of the largest countries in the world in a robot, but no biggie. This is Harold Murphy, not only a super nice bloke who's just bought his wife a beautiful big red gift of a new Model Y, but Harold Murphy has undertaken a remarkable journey, completing an 11 day, 13 and a half thousand kilometre trip around Australia using Tesla's full self-driving supervised system. This endeavour marks the first continent spanning lap with this technology, showcasing significant advancements in autonomous driving capabilities. His journey achieved an impressive average of efficiency of 169 watts per kilometre, that's about 272 watts per mile, highlighting the energy efficiency of the Tesla Model Y, which is noted as one of the most efficient SUVs ever tested by the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency in America. And that's despite not being Tesla's most efficient SUV variant, that'll be mine then with the rear wheel drive Tesla Model Y. This trip not only demonstrates the practical application of Tesla's autonomous driving technology, but also aligns with broader trends in electric vehicle efficiency and the potential for future autonomous fleets as Tesla continues to refine its technology towards unsupervised driving and robo-taxis. Do give Harold a follow on x at Harold underscore Murphy. And also see him do his best at dodging kangaroos. I do see a lot of comments from people not understanding why autonomy is a game changer. Perhaps this helps. We're in our early 70s, diminishing eyesight, slowing reflexes and heightened anxiety anticipating having to drive. Traded in our 2023 Outback Touring for a 2026 Tesla Model Y long range with FSD. Love it. We live in the very busy, ever-changing Las Vegas, Henderson Valley. Hardly ever need to intercede. This is a new lease of life for us. Can't wait for version 14 to make it even better. Thanks, Elon. This situation will be playing out worldwide, helping those that can't get around for many reasons maintain their independence. For the elephant in the room and the question on most Tesla owners' lips, when? As Hardware 3 owners patiently wait for some news of when FSD is coming to them, there is no denying that what Tesla has achieved and put out there on Hardware 4 vehicles is absolutely nailing it. Unlike a certain other autonomous vehicle company that weirdly receives no negative press whatsoever, no matter whether driving through a flood with terrified passengers, or after deciding to identify as a golf cart and come roaring through someone's peaceful round of golf. Then there's crashing up an embankment in the rain, or putting lives at risk while trying to back out onto a highway, all in a week's work for Waymo, which is quickly going to become way more stupid when compared to Tesla's vision-only solution to autonomy. Honestly, if this was a Tesla robo-taxi, it'd be front page worldwide, yet what do we get? As Nick Cruz Patain reminds us, it's been just five years since Tesla began offering FSD supervised to a limited group of owners as part of its early access program. This marks the practical starting point for its availability to users. Looking at how far they've come, can you imagine? where Tesla's autonomous systems will be in another five years. Spoiler alert, they won't have wheels. Well, unless they're on roller skates at the Tesla diner, that is. Not joking, it'll happen. Now, speaking to just those who have tried version 13 FSD, supervised, or had a ride in a robo-taxi, how would you rate Tesla's autonomous capabilities in percentage terms? Is it 90% intervention-free during journeys? 99%? Do share your experience in the comments below. And chuck us a like and subscribe. It really helps. Thanks very much. So the next exciting FSD step comes next week with version 14 over on Grok. Tesla plans to begin an early wide release of full self-driving supervised version 14 next week, which is October if you're watching this in the future. As announced by Elon Musk on September 25th, the major AI update features a 10 times increase in model parameters for a smoother, more human-like driving, reduced nags, and exponentially better safety, building on tech from Tesla's RoboTaxi program. Follow-up versions 14.1 will include bug fixes that'll be about two weeks later, and 14.2 described as feeling almost sentient, will roll out progressively into October. 
It is limited to hardware for vehicles, with rumours of upgrades like 48Hz camera input and mapless private road navigation. I assume this means it will use its camera eyes and computer brain to sort of navigate and see where it's going, whether there's anything on the screen or not, whether there's a map there. It'll just navigate as we do. And as for that 10 times increase in model parameters, this basically means Tesla's FSD version 14 has a much larger AI model, allowing it to process more data and make better decisions. This results in driving that feels smoother and more natural, like a skilled human driver or a male. I'm kidding. Oh, God. Tesla has likely collected approximately 10 billion miles of data from both FSD and Autopilot combined as of September 29th, 2025. This figure represents the total miles driven with either system engaged, with FSD's 2.5 to 3 billion miles embedded within it. The data is used to train Tesla's neural networks, leveraging the fleet's real-world driving experience. Tesla's vast data collection is a key advantage because it enables continuous improvement of its AI through real-world training, positioning it ahead of competitors and potentially accelerating the development of fully autonomous driving technology, no doubt leading Tesla down the strange future path of only manufacturing autonomous vehicles such as the Cybercab or the Robovan or perhaps even more wheeled vehicles. But that can of worms discussion can wait for another day. This milestone of Tesla owners in Australia and New Zealand driving 1 million kilometres on FSD supervised in two weeks reflects trust in the AI shown by zero major incidents and Harold Murphy's 13,500 kilometre lap around Australia and Tesla's progress towards safer autonomous driving in right hand drive markets. You don't think that people are waking up to the realisation that Tesla has solved one of the most difficult challenges we humans have ever faced with autonomy, do you? And yeah, I was saying the collective sense of all humans, just as football fans consider themselves to be the winners of the match after five cans of Stella and a bag of chips. We won! Yay! Might this rapidly rising Tesla share price be a sign of confidence in the company? Do share your thoughts in the comments below. But most importantly, if you are a Tesla shareholder and you haven't voted yet, Tesla has released a new explainer video for Elon Musk's 2025 CEO Performance Award. If you care at all about the future of the company and everything that Elon Musk stands for regarding Tesla's future, please do make a difference and vote. Who knows, life on Earth might depend on Elon Musk's continued and future involvement with Tesla. So, you know, not much at stake there at all. Have a watch.
If you need help voting your shares, get in contact with me in the comments below. Failing that, head on over to X and grok it. It's far easier than you think. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, patrons. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.